Thank you, Mr. Rene. Yeah, amazing night, isn't it, Leslie? We come back almost full circle, 180 degrees where we started a few years ago. And I'm going to welcome our guests just shortly. A few years ago, we invited a young man into the studio. And he was very lucky. How long? I do remember that. that he must have been like five yeah, years old. <laughs> couldn't even be able to stand on the chair to be interviewed. And tonight we got Tahir he was, Toya and his parents here. Just he was eight at the time, Evan. Can you believe it? Yeah, we can get a flow. word out Look of at him now. <laughs> When he sits next to his idol, he's almost as tall as his idol. Yeah, true. Now, um, I'm excited, I'm honored, and I'm so grateful that, um, um, you know, that we can discuss again and bring one of our young people in that we admire so much. Our radio show is all about, um, you know, um, celebrating his success and people working towards that we got to hear. But before I go to Tahir, I just want to, you know, welcome his mom and dad to the studio. You know, Mawada, what an amazing and honor it is for me to be here with you. And of course, your the rest of your contingent here tonight. Um, you radio your personality yourself. I don't have to, you know, teach you how to do these things. But salam to you again. Thank you very much. Wa alaikum salam, Urban and Leslie and Dion and the rest of the crew. And thank you very much for inviting us to um, this station again. And yes, we're honoured to have our little old star. Yeah. Not so little anymore. <laughs> not so little He's anymore. not so little anymore. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. I'll leave it all over to Leslie and to Urban to interview yes. Tahir. And of thank course, you. his coach as well. Um, we just want to welcome his coach. If you could just tell our listeners a bit about yourself uh, before we go to Tahir. Um, okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me, um, having me here. Um, my name's Ty Poker from Triple X Basketball. Um, very honoured to be here and, and be part of this. Uh, auspicious moment, um, especially to celebrate um, Tahir's success and mm. uh, more importantly meet you folks, um, yeah. the, the hub, the, the centre, the heart yeah. of the South African uh, community. Yeah, it's great stuff. We sort of are here tonight to again to discuss, you know, just the excitement going on what Tahir has actually um, achieved in a short space of time. You know, Leslie, it's, it's exciting for me personally because I feel that um, he's done so much, but his parents need to get all those kudos as well. You know, that cookies that they Definitely. had to bake. I remember all the times uh, um, Mubada had uh, Gatsby fundraisers and some worse of this, and she just. She, she worked hard. She worked hard. She worked really, yeah. really, really hard. Uh, look, all out uh, take a hat off to you. And, yeah. Um, both of you, I mean, it's, it's, you it's guys a huge really achievement, to yes. get to here where you needed to be. Now, to here again, to you, welcome, welcome to our show. How are you doing? Uh, thanks, Evan, uh, and to uh, South African NZ Live, and to all the listeners out there. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so good to have you here. You know, you're just not a personality to your appearance, but all over New Zealand and, and across the, you know, the sports spectrum of basketball, you've achieved something that very few people in your age have achieved. And um, how old were you when you first started getting interested in basketball? Uh, I was four years old when I started wow. four years old. playing basketball. Do you mind if I ask what your age is now? Uh, I'm 14. Right so it's 10 years of it's, it's a long time. It's a long time. It's a long time. I mean, he's grown so much in that yeah. 10 years. But look, I mean, he's way ahead of his time. And, and, and what school are you at? You're you, you at West Auckland. What school are you at? Uh, I'm currently at um, Liston College. Yeah, with Liston College. Yeah. Where is that? Uh, that's on the west side. West okay. side. He's so excited about <laughs> just being on the west side. West side. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, um, is it. You that discovered this young man, or is it just that that you know his parents came there and said, "I've got, I've got my boy here." Well, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just privileged to be part of that journey. Yeah. And I think Tahir chose his journey right from the age of four, okay. and he's been pushing it ever since. How today. long have you been working with Tahir? Well, I've been with Tahir probably three, four years mm -hmm. now, um, a, as a community coach with our club. Mm -hmm. um, but Tahir, he's a self-driven young man. Uh, he knows what he wants, mm -hmm. and. All, all the um, accolades should go to him because it's through hard work is why he's here today. Yeah, again. So here, all obviously, you know, a lot of the um, the reason why you're here is that the journey has taken you to such an extent that you were actually invited to the Michael Jordan Flight School in Santa Barbara, um, and they asked you to send you to defend, come and defend your position. Uh, can you tell us? A bit more about what that means because it's a bit of a mouthful for me. I'm trying to get my head around. I'm still trying to figure out who Michael Jordan is. <laughs> Where do you come from? <laughs> Tell us a bit about that. Uh, well, my main goal was there to go and get the most valuable player award. Wow, which uh, you did, of course. Yeah. You did? No. 
Uh, I got the All Star Award. So what? What's that? The All Star Award is like the top twelve players one, that are in your age group that are the best. Wow. Okay, so you do you play with your own age group? Yeah. No, I don't. You don't. So so what age group do you play with? Uh, I had to play with the um, under sixteens because okay. I was there last year and they knew me. Ah, and okay. They recognized me. So yeah, that excellent. award you got was for the under sixteen age group. Yes. Excellent. If I, if I could interject here, yeah, yeah. just just, just as a coach. So his sole goal this year was to go and get the MVP. Oh, is that what it's called? MVP, MVP? most valuable player. Oh, okay, okay. And, and we're talking 300 kids. Mm. Wow. All right. Last year he made the All Star 12, which is a huge, a huge uh, achievement, achievement yeah. on its own. But this year his sole goal was to become MVP of that very same age group. But the directors and the coaches from last year thought, no, this kid just is something special. So they took him up a couple of grades to under 16. So when we found this out, it was kind of like, well, we're just going to have to bite down on this and try and do as well as you can. And, and you know, the MVP. Because he's playing with bigger boys now. Obviously. Bigger boys. I mean, we're talking six foot seven, six foot six kids, um, two years older than, than this young man here. But to tell you what, to to become an all star again in that age group is, is phenomenal. I, I I I'm amazed if he's not a big frame boy. Um, he's, he's he's not he's not small either. He's not big either. But he's sort of a sort of a middle in the range there. But he's playing a a, a really good game. I went onto his Facebook page. I snooped a bit, my boy. You can go <laughs> to his page. He's an, he's got an open page. You can see he plays a really really good game of basketball. So what we're going to do is we, uh, we're going to go back to music, and when we come back, we're going to uh, have a uh, sort of a wider chat with um, both um, his representatives from Spark, who's here tonight as well. Of course, his dad is here. His mum is here. His coach. Is here. So to hear this in the studio with us, you tune to South African Tea Live Radio. We're going to go back to music, and when we come back, we're going to chat more um, to Tahir. And of course, your shout outs again on South African Tea Live Radio 104.6 FM on our Facebook page. Or you can call us in studio on 838 Eight, 815 815 800. Lisa hasn't been in the studio for ages. <laughs> South African Z Live Radio 104.6. My name is Irvin Adams and I'm hanging out with Lee and Leslie. They're doing the music tonight. And my other grumpy man is here, Dion, doing the technical stuff in the background. If you don't hear much about him, we've got a few mics. And, of course, we are full to the studio, to the brim. We've got the, the, the twins here as well. And they are just a bit starstruck with Tahir in the studio. Uh, we've got the main man with us. And, of course, my <coughs> dad is here. His manager's here as well. And we're going to have a corridor with them as well. So it's, it's still, again, I, I, Coach, I want to talk to you about something that, that interests me the most um, maybe just before we, we we go too far, I want to speak to you and your wife here and how this has sort of started with you now managing Tahir uh, maybe I can just welcome uh, Fire, uh, your wife here tonight, good evening to you and Harima, thank you for coming to our studio thank you for gracing your presence can you give us a bit of a background where you started off with this journey with Tahir uh, hi, um, yes, yeah, so I'm Caroline Upoko and I come from out west Auckland and I'm very North passionate Westie. about our mm. yeah, big time west. And what is your iwi? Tifale Tu. Tifale Tu, okay. Yeah. Kia. Um, again, welcome to both of you. It's, it's really an honour to have both of you here. Um, just a bit of a background on, on how you fit in with this journey. So how I fit in, in the journey is, uh, so my husband and I, we have our own business called Triple X Basketball. And um, we started that as a dream for us, from our own child, our own child who wanted the opportunity to go to the US and play basketball. We couldn't make that dream happen for our own child, so we wanted to make it happen for other children like Tohir. Um, and how we met Tohir in our life, um, I've known him for about seven years, um, wow. since he started basketball at the age of seven. And he was spotted playing in my local gym at Waitakere at the Trust Stadium by um, my operations manager, Ake Ho, and he spotted him. And um, at the time... Literally spotted him playing on the pitch. Literally. Unbelievable. And uh, this is the Torfern assistant coach, the top coach in our country, um, had spotted to here that young seven years ago. And uh, at the time I was running the club out there, 
and I've been with that club for many years. Waitakere West Auckland Basketball. Big shout out to you guys. Was up in the Excellent. Um, big ups for them, of course. Big ups for them. And, and they, they based, um, what is their home base? Okay, their give home our listeners based, a bit of Because obviously these listeners just going to want to go. Yeah, their home base is at the Trust Stadium. Wow. Uh, okay. Trust in Arena West in West Auckland Central Park Drive. And um, this is our first time that we've first saw to here. And ever since then, we've befriended the family, yeah. um, and he's he's my son. Of course. He's, uh, You've adopted him now as oh, one absolutely. of yours. He's part of the final. Oh, absolutely. We go overseas, and, you know, he's my son. Um, everyone knows me, who know who knows me, knows that he's he's yeah, my baby. he's my boy, um, as a lot of our children are. But, um, yeah, we take him overseas now two years with us. Wow. We're the only ones that he's been overseas with that his parents trust. Yeah, killer. Um, that's, that's unbelievable. Uh, Coach, you, your involvement again, in terms of your physical part, you, you deal with Tahir every day and, and you, you, you obviously um, coach him from a physical part, game playing and all that. Sure. But uh, first and foremost, I'm Tahir's father. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, basically, I've, I've had Tahir in the rep program uh, for a few years. Uh, and that, that would probably all have been my first contact with Tahir, is having him... Um, be part of my teams that I coach. Um, over the years, Tahir has just proved to be an outstanding player. Uh, just having that something, something special about um, about him. I mean, and, and it, not many players have it. They don't have the drive, or, or they don't they don't see their goal. No. Uh, and, and what we're finding out um, just by doing these tools and helping other kids is that a lot of our kids. Um, just don't believe in themselves. No. But I think that's a thing Tohir definitely has. He believes in himself. And with the right support around him, everything he touches turns to gold. That's amazing. Look, we're going to go uh, to a few a few more questions to Tahir on question five. There. I think um, Lisa's going to a few more to ask for him. Um, yeah. Tahir, the, the, the Michael Jordan flight school that you're with in Santa Barbara, it must have been a huge buzz, buzz for you. Can you tell us a bit more what you did at the school and... When you went there, did you just practice? What do you do? Uh, well, the main things that we done there was just eat, sleep, and play basketball. <laughs> eat, sleep, and play basketball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I made a lot of friends there. I had fun. Mm. And I just got to play with some of the best players around the world, basically. That's awesome stuff. It's just so much exposure. It's really, really cool. Tell me, do you still play for a club in New Zealand? Uh, I only play for school right now. I play, yeah, I play for um, the under-15s, the junior prems, and then the prem team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, with regards to practice and things like that, so you practice with your coach and then you also practice with the school. Yeah. So how, how often do you practice a week? <laughs> Probably like twice or three times. But mm -hmm. that, yeah. Morning and night. It what time? Tiring, eh? it's, a, it's a long day. You get up, you go practice, what go to school, yeah, go practice. We train um, from 6.30 in the morning Three to times like a week. And then after school, we have training again. He's, he's a dedicated, that is a lot. That's he's a a a dedicated <laughs> athlete. And uh, if I could just say that uh, he's got a very good basketball coach that he's with right now mm -hmm. with his Liston College, uh, being Doe Williams, who's been around the traps for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Um you have to be a good coach around Tahir. Mm. No, you have to. You have I've to seen be. this boy play on his, on some of his spots. It's just, the boy is fast. It's, I, I mean, I'm sure um, that these kids out there that, that, you know, similar, but, mm. but for his age and his frame, he's, he's, mm. he's pretty fast. So, Tahir, I don't, I, I know basketball, right? Uh, bounce the ball around, yeah. shoot the hoop. I mean, mm -hmm. really, what's there to know? Okay. But now you've got to speak to me like, like, like I'm a small child because I don't know, I don't know much. What position do you play? Oh, uh, well, I currently play point guard and shooting guard. Okay, uh, so you shoot the ball in the hoop. Yeah, point guard is where I carry the ball up and, like, set up plays oh. for my team. So you're the playmaker? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, okay. so if you don't get to shoot, you make give yeah. the, uh, another person that opportunity to shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so before we, we, we go too much on the question side and not to make the main to prejudice, you tune into South Africa Live Radio, and of course, our show is called The Grumpy Old Men. We've got Lee and Leslie with us. You're just probably not listening to hearing too much of Dion tonight, he's on the technical side, and of course, we've got Lee and Leslie on the boards, and um, of course, Lee is doing the music. We're gonna go back to music, Lee, yeah, and when we come back, we're gonna have another chat with young um, Tahir. Um, and we're getting your feedback. Let us know what you think on 815. 8100, 815, 8100. Case of basketball for dummies. I mean, it is basketball for dummies. I'll be one of the dummies. I'll put just, my hand up. Yeah, I'm not I'm sure I have to say. So, again, we're going to have another Corrido chat young with his um, coach. He said, we said earlier on that he is a uh, game maker, game player, game maker. And I made a statement that he's almost like he's the. Um, He's the striker, and then you made a very good statement and said, a well-paid striker. Yes, so definitely. give us a call a little bit more about that, and maybe <coughs> Fire can come in here as well. Yeah, well, um, it's no doubt that uh, Tahir is actually one of the best players in his age group for, for in, in the nation. Um, um, he's proved it um, throughout the years, but um, he's very driven. I mean, he's like the Dan Carter of rugby, the All Black wow, rugby. So, I mean, um, for Tahir to, to be able to take up this opportunity and go out and show the rest of the world and compete and make the top team. I mean, there's, there's no room for anybody else but Americans in that All-Star 12. Excellent. Big. And it was mentioned that he was travelling with a, um, um, a scout uh, along with uh, his sort of a, uh, his entourage. Can you give us a bit yeah. more about that? Yeah, that's right. So, um, Triple X Basketball, we brought out an NBA scout wow. um, from Boston. And um, we brought him over here in early April. And Tohir toured with us uh, for a week. And uh, we toured the North Island and we held um, sp scouting camps. And those camps were there to identify athletes who were looking for a scholarship opportunity overseas, whether it be for high school, um, college, or even professional. Excellent. Go pro. A bit more about your organisation in a quick um, few seconds. Uh, how can people get in contact with your organisation so that if they have um, young people or people that want to be involved in this journey, can you give us a bit, you know, give us a website, give us an address, give us a phone phone number? Yes, yeah, sure. So anyone who wants to hit us up, hit us up on uh, Um You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're, we're everywhere. Excellent. So um, yeah, hit us up and we're will help whenever and, we can. And you guys are at the Trust Stadium as well? No, we're based out um, at Western Springs College mainly um, and at, at the Trust, but uh, anyone who wants to hit us up, you know, contact us through our website, triplexpassable.com or contact you guys and you can reach out to us. Excellent. So yeah. Leslie's got a few more last questions for young Tahir. Um, as we wrap up, um, wasn't for us, it's a great honour and a great night to chat to such a young man who's done so well. So, Tahir, what is your ultimate goal in the sport? Well, my ultimate goal is to become the best player in the world. Mm. Mm. Awesome. You must have an idol, eh? Somebody you look up to. Who would that be? Well, my ultimate idol would probably be Michael Jordan. But right now, it's LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a nickname too. <laughs> yes, I have okay, too. I will tell you, the closest I got to basketball was the boys they played on. Um, <laughs> What's it? What's it called? Yeah. On PlayStation. I'm sure those players are on there. <laughs> we cannot take her to a basketball <laughs> oh. game ever. Any sport, that is. Any sport. So before we ask the last question, I just wanted to just cut in here quickly. Basketball is such uh, it's a growing sport. I know it's a huge growing sport. I'll tell you why. Because I drove through um, um, uh, the parts of Papatoi and um, um, lower parts of Easter Market, and they're building a brand new pitch day. I just saw it today. It's not, it's not active yet. It just shows how the game is developed. Um, and so people can obviously, we want to start giving away tickets uh, on our radio show. And maybe Coach can hook us up with some tickets for mm -hmm. our listeners so they can attend these games. Can you hook us up with some free tickets? Put him on the spot. <laughs> Yeah, most definitely, but the uh, first ticket goes to me um, when I don't watch the <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you will and obviously... Court side. And yeah. we would love to get some tickets through via you so we can um, really foster the sports among um, young people. Oh, so definitely. I mean, uh, the, the basketball in New Zealand is growing uh, at a phenomenal rate uh, with the success of Stephen Adams and, and a lot of other athletes um, making it over there. Mm. But um, in saying that, yeah, definitely um, everyone needs to get behind it, Excellent. whatever sport it would be. 
Now, um, Liz has got a last question yes, for you. One as last well. one for Tahir. Do you have any message for any young and aspiring basketball players out there and how they can be successful? Uh, my thing is believe in yourself is the first thing uh, to success and mm -hmm. stay strong, stay humble and stay wise. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, I am just honored this young man is way ahead of his time. Thank you so much, Tahir. Thank you to your coaches, your mother, and your father has brought you in. And of course, again, our listeners out there, um, get involved with Triple X Basketball. They'll be posting on our page um, as much information so that you can, uh, you know, take your young man, your young girl out there into basketball, into the rest of the world. And we are really, really proud of you. Um, you stand out as one of our achievements. And we just honored every time to have him. Please stay in touch. You know, it's just, it's, an, it's a huge buzz for me. Mm. No, it's, it's awesome. Lee, we're going to go back to the music again. And it's such a great night. I'm, I'm having so much fun. <laughs>